Welcome, everybody, along with Bill Clement. I'm Gary Thorne. We invite you to join us for this one between the New Jersey Devils. Okay. That starts to function better. So, hello, everybody, and welcome to watch. This is my second. Oops. Okay. They scored immediately. So, that's what I get by being reckless and not focusing on the game. But this just shows how the game is. If you if you lose you yourself in something or don't focus enough, the AI is sure to make it worth their while. Now I have the puck and I'm not gonna give it up. Trying to go for a scoring position. I have one one man advantage here before the power play begins. I wanna move the puck. That's a good place. Put some hassle in front of the goal. Trying to well, that was unfortunate. Hit my own player there, but I could have as well scored back there because I I got a nice thing going there. Okay, they they made it. They cleared the puck, which is something you would like to prevent in your own power play. Otherwise, the computer is on. Here we go. Nice and confident wrist shot into the upper upper left hand corner from where I'm standing. Heavy clocks. Nice moves. I took the defender off the situation and got enough space to close the puck in the upper left corner. So now we're even against the Pittsburgh Penguins, which is, if you look at the stats, it's a much better team than New Jersey Devils, but well, that's a nice deflected shot. Still, better go for a change. You might want to, okay, that's bad. You might want to change your change every once in a while because the computer isn't so competent at doing that if there's no pauses in the game you might play with the same chains more than for your four minutes and after that they're gonna be exhausted and won't do any good in defending god damn it A basic penalty I have a bad feeling that's going to happen a lot more because Pittsburgh is a, it's a quite quite good players like Crosby and Malkin are going to be a constant threat the Crosby scored early on I tried to keep the puck at the end but I missed and I gotta play this Penalty kill play wisely. The difficulty of this game is all star, and as you can see, the computer can move the puck with pretty much ease. They can make most of the of the power play. And I just gonna have to. I have to watch my my the in front of my own goal. Don't let any players camp there, otherwise he'll end it up in a effective scoring position for them because they want to move the puck around the boards and then move it to the blue line and try to get a slap shot up there or a deflection in front of the goal or any kind of rebound and they are quite good at that so you don't necessarily want to let them have that chance. There was some nice little passes between Crosby. Good save. Try to move the puck as quickly as possible. That's gonna give me 
Sometimes it'll give me a good opening, but it's good to move the puck once in a while in the neutral zone. It'll help you get a better entrance to the to your offensive zone. And if you pass it along the neutral zone, there's gonna be more than one player heading solo to the offensive zone. It'll give your attack much needed boost so you can move the puck once or twice and then go for a shot it's gonna be a lot more effective especially when one of your players is probably heading for the goal looking for rebounds or something like that where the action is I don't really remember what I said in the last video I made I probably promise to tell you about clearing the puck out of your own zone and using it as an effective pass, but I guess I don't have to resort to that kind of well done. Okay, the goalie didn't flinch, so it's a good chance. Nice cut in the middle past the defender. Uh, good scoring chance. That's nice Clarkson. Nice saucy pass in the middle, but didn't reach anybody there. Okay, that's the end of the first half. First period. Guess. Can't, can't win this face off. If I lose a face off, I will most probably trying to rush for the puck and try to poke check it out of the defender stick before they get a chance to move that's a uh, one way to get a breakaway early on I'm pretty satisfied with my first chain with Zay Jack and Kvalchuk and that's a good place. Good place to score. And Clarkson especially, he's played well. And you can see what the computer does. It tries to put the puck in my zone. Just try to dump it at my end. Like that. It'll sometimes give them space but not necessarily. And and I would have recommend it against the <coughs> computer AI. But if you want to preserve your movement, you might want to dump the puck in the case you have some player that's moving full speed towards the offensive zone, then it might be good. You can try to uh, uh, try to cross it. Zidlitschk is down, one of my better players, better defenseman. That's not good, Tang Reddy has the puck, moves it back, plus Kennedy, Lee Tang, Sutter. Try to nail him. Move the puck in the middle, and the saucer pass to the left side. Play to Zubris. One good player of that. Big, but still quite quite skillful. That's a nice, nice attempt. You might want to use the Badox back backward skating once in a while to get you into better position for a pass or a shot. It's not all not all the time effective, but you can make kind of spin around and move into a better score, scoring or passing position I've noticed that it will help the accuracy of your pass a little bit so you might want to use it so you can use it and dig while you're doing it and you can get a on ice pass to your own teammate you don't have to resort to doing saucer passes 
because they are not that accurate, they are well affected but not, not as accurate or not as hard as the or not as regular passes. Okay, I lost the puck. For some reason the computer gets into offside pretty often. It seems that when I look at the hit count, that's offside once again, and I don't know why. Don't know why. Yeah. I'm definitely more taking more hits than I would against a human player. So the so it seems that the computer has some kind of advantage when it comes to getting those vital hits. I can do, do them once in a while, but they are not that big. Okay, that was a that was a good place. You want you definitely want to do that. Play the buck in and go for a shot. That was probably one of the best coin positions in the game. You get a wrist shot there at that position. It was quite quick. Quite quick this time. It's nothing. That's the end of the second half. Second half. Whatever. Second period. I guess I get always mixed up because because of football. European football and their half times. Must have been lost the puck. I don't want to lose it. Damn, they had a good good position. But thank God, Broders, solid today. That's a good place, good place for a shot. But as I can see, he was covering the the near corner. I tried to aim in the middle. Well, basically scoring goals in this game, you're gonna aim for the open spaces and try to anticipate those open spaces. You can try to hit the puck in between the pads. That's good, good place to score. Low shots. If you want rebounds, you wanna aim for the pads themselves. Left or right low corners it's a good way to win those that's a good place but as you can see there Flurry likes to stand up a lot like that like that low shots can be effective That's in a way kind of lucky because there was a lot of open space in the up corners and the puck went such a narrow space in between the legs. That's not good. So this is the last period I'm winning. Two to one. Five more for a more aggressive strategy to get my game going on. I don't want to. Let's have a look. Defensive pressure. Try to maintain as attacking formation as possible. Okay, that was a good place. It's a way to <coughs> get away from the defender, get into a fantastic scoring position. <coughs> Those shots, like that, aren't that effective, but you better look look for the any loose pucks in your own end. It's a good place to get a poke check. 
to the score there as well. And then in this game. Okay, that's that's bad. Bad miss. Fantastic pressure from Zubers. Took the puck and went for a shot. The puck. I'm gonna play this game wise. I hope I don't have to make those constant dumps. As you can see, the dumps aren't that effective if your players are standing still, waiting to enter the attacking zone. You will most likely lose that puck. And this game, well, you're quite underpowered when it comes to battling by the boards. You're about to lose almost all those battles, especially against the computer. Even if you can tie them by the boards, it's not gonna do that much good getting puck after that. You can slow them down, but they can get the puck moving. And then both the teams are one man down, but that's basically it. <laughs> That's a nice, nice place to score. Didn't manage this time. Okay, that's a good face off win. Try to take that shot. It's a good pass. Okay, Talender lost his stick. Okay, that's not good. Thank God Eli Eliash is there. Okay, that's a wise place to pass it. That was pretty unfortunate, but thank God we got the puck cleared and. I guess we can score one or twi once or twice once they take the goalie off. Nice cut in and low shot after that. In a second now they're gonna take their goalie goalie out. Not yet though. Okay, that was stupid. He was already down and I tried to pass him. That was a nice tackle. Nice. Okay, they don't have a goalie anymore. But still. Can I get a goal? Yes, I can. And that's it. Empty nether. Alright, folks, that's gonna be all for now. I hope I or brought you some insight of this game if not just enjoy this video thanks for watching bye possession they had gear they would have had to be the ultimate opportunists they weren't